Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Saturday morning live stream. Good morning, good evening, wherever you're at. So we got a ton of stuff to go over. So let's get into it as quick as possible. So you may have noticed that <clears throat> the thumbnail and the title to this video talks about portfolio and it looks radically different from the portfolio that I have been displaying and talking about. So let me make this crystal clear. The portfolio we are going to talk about today is we're taking a look at a Roth IRA retirement account and what it looks like versus my uh, regular portfolio, which has a plethora of different uh, digital assets, Bitcoin being the heaviest at over 70%, and then altcoins making up the rest of it. And you can see here that there is uh, quite a bit and I've been accumulating uh, since roughly 2017, more so in 2022. So uh, there's a lot of different, uh, maybe smaller altcoins down here, which I don't usually show, but you can just tell that uh, for to be crystal clear, most of this is in Bitcoin, then some layer ones, then other altcoins across a plethora of different uh, dynamics, but that's what we have. So what is this? Why do we have this here? So this is the current uh, iTrust Roth IRA portfolio. And you can see there's a balance here, Bitcoin, of course, being the highest. And you'll see like, okay, you got Bitcoin, Ethereum, all right, Solana, Toncoin, gold and silver. I know some people love precious metals. Some people despise them and say that, why would you put your funds into gold and silver when you can just put everything into Bitcoin? It's all about balance and what you want to do. I can't give you financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm definitely not your dad. So just take the information here that is necessary and useful for you and move on. So the last four you'll see here is Pepe Bonk. Dog with hat and doge. And even I have to chuckle sometimes. So I'm like, why did I do this? There's a reason. First of all, you'll notice that Bitcoin is the large lion's share of what I'm, I'm doing here. Then to layer ones, then into precious metals. And Pepe Bonk, dog with hat, doge, they're each around 2%, 2, 2.5% two or so. That makes up around 8 to 10% of my portfolio. And what I'm trying to do here, this is the why, is to take those profits and roll them back into a little bit more stability. Meme coins are not here to be held on to forever. Let's be honest. But they, they serve their purpose and there are gains to be made. So let's talk about the why and really get into why am I doing this? First of all, if you're not familiar with the Roth IRA, I don't know if you know Peter Thiel, but he's one of those uh, mega investors. And he turned $2,000 in a Roth IRA into 5 billion. Now, how did he do that? Well, he took his PayPal shares, which this was in the very early days of PayPal. He is part of the PayPal mafia, as I call it, along with Elon Musk and a host of other people. And he put it into Roth IRA, which when it was worth absolutely nothing. And then, of course, he just let it sit there. And now it's $5 billion tax free. And this was written in 2021. And it says here that uh, his account jumped more than $3 billion in just three years. I believe he's actually at that point where he can actually take those funds out. So he gets it tax-free. Why not us? So the question then becomes, why? why? Why Why? a Roth IRA? Well, first of all, if you want to hear the whole story about Peter Thiel and how that works out, there's a link in the description also to iTrust. And it comes down to this. For a Roth IRA, and there's a bunch of different ones out there. I just use iTrust. I'm just giving this as an, as an example. And this is just about something you can think about as far as taxes, because we have to think about those even though we're taking profits. So for iTrust, there's no monthly fee, none. It used to be 29 bucks. They did away with that. But there is a fee of 1% transaction fee. That's for buying and selling. $50 uh, gold transaction fee over spot and $250 over spot for silver, which I own both. So if you take a look at this, the max contributions per year, if you're under 50, it's seven grand. If it's over 50, it's eight grand. You can't take money out until 59 and a half years old. And this could be for you. This could be for your kids. This could be your grandkids, whatever it is. I, I, I don't know what, what your position is. But just know that every year, the 1% fee of 7,000 is 70 bucks. If you're over 50 and, have to pay, and want to pay 8,000, 1% fee is $80. Now, there's another thing called a backdoor Roth IRA, and I'm getting that into the video, but that's outside the scope of this video. So I'm just telling you, uh, take a look at uh, fees and you know how much you're going to pay. That's how much you're going to pay. So what does that look like as far as what a lot of people do, which is just only have a portfolio and not have a retirement account? As you may notice, uh, I have both of those. So I have something that looks like, actually something that looks like uh, this, 
and something that looks like this, a little bit different. So if we're going through here, the question you have to ask yourself is, well, how much do I have to pay in taxes? We talked about this yesterday. I didn't do a good job explaining, I'm sorry. So I try to make this a little bit more clear. If you have a dollar and it doubles 20 times and you don't take anything out for taxes, you're gonna hit a million dollars. Isn't that amazing? So if you double a dollar 20 times, you get a million, which seems reasonable <laughs> in crypto. And if you just let that dollar ride on like Dogecoin or something for, I don't know, since 2017, you would have definitely had multi-millions. Multi so if you think about this, 25% tax, because that's how we're, we're taking a look at as far as like long-term capital gains plus the state fees. I'm just kind of, kind of uh, giving you an average here. If 25% of that, and you want to take that out for taxes, you're going to pay, you know, roughly 240,000, somewhere around there in taxes, 25%. Hey, it is what it is. You did a good job. Are you okay with that? Or you could just take a dollar, put that into whatever it was in your Roth IRA. And then over here, when you sell it, you take, you get charged 1% of a million. So it's either 25% or a million. If we take a look over here, and we're always talking about taking profits, taking profits, taking profits, and it's true, but you have to remember that if you took profits at every time of this, you took a dollar to double it, and you got taxed, and that's, that's being generous. That's not short-term capital gains. You only have 72,000. So again, the choice is yours, what you wanna do, uh, as far as like just a straight up portfolio, retirement account, or whatever else it is. So why? Why did I pick these? It seems kind of ridiculous, right? Because this is what's available in uh, iTrust. And they got a lot, I'll be honest with you. So just so you know, they have physical gold and silver and they have digital assets and crypto, Bitcoin. I know people say, don't say Bitcoin is crypto. So I just say digital assets. But yeah, you've got Aave, Cardano, Arbitrum, Cosmos, Bonk, Bitcoin, stuff. Yeah, Doge, Polkadot, EOS. <laughs> Yeah, the Graph, Hedera, Chainlink, Pepe, Near Protocol, Polygon, Render Sandbox, Shiba Inu, Sushi, Tuncoin now, Uniswap, Dogwood, Fat Stellar, and so on and so forth. So this is what, these are my options for this portfolio. And that's why I picked these. But why did I pick meme coins? It's because I think that there's a lot of room to run. Look, Bitcoin's at 60,000, 62,000, depending on where you're looking at right now. So for it to double, that means its market cap has to double. What's its market cap? It's like, I wanna say $800 billion, somewhere around there. Correct me in the comments, I'm sure I'm not right. And that means that we have to get, you know, 1.6 trillion for it to double, somewhere around there. There's a, there's a multiplier effect, yes, correct. But if we take a look at something like Pepe, and remember, I cannot stress this enough, is that this is a very low percentage of my portfolio. Again, what I'm trying to do is maybe 2x or 3x, which I think it can be very easily done, and put that back in a Bitcoin and a little bit of Ethereum Soul and, and precious metals. Got it? Okay. So with Pepe and all these meme coins, one thing you may notice is that there's no unlocks. The circulating supply and the total supply and the max supply, you don't have to worry about that stuff. And if we take a look at this Pepe coin, and not that I'm going to say like Pepe's got this great utility, it doesn't, it's just a meme coin. But if you take a look at this over like, three months, one year, max out. I mean, it did an amazing job. Does that mean that there's no more gains to be had? No, no, no. I think when retail comes in, they're gonna be like, what? I can do a 2X on these crazy things and which ones are the ones that I can do? Well, I can get these other ones that are very super risky at pump fun and lose everything. Or maybe I take a look at this, this Pepe or maybe look at Bonk, which is the Solana meme coin, which I told everybody a long time ago. I've, I talked about this over a year ago and I said, look, Bonk is going to be in the top 100. It was when it was like 500. And I was like, yeah, sure. And now it's ranked at 60. So again, circulating supply, total supply, max supply, not too bad. There's some unlocks to be had, but those for a while. How about dog with fat? Same thing, circulating supply, total supply, max supply, and then Dogecoin, which is ranked number ninth, I might add. Circling supply, total supply, max supply is infinite, but that's all based on inflation. They've been doing a pretty good job so far. So just take a look at this because people will say, well, that's dumb. Why do meme coins? That doesn't make sense. I talked about why. 
But as a reminder, as everybody was making fun of Dogecoin, I just want you to know it's been in the top 30 for 10 years. Yeah, that's right. So this is looking at coin market cap uh, historical. So Dogecoin is a fork of Lucky Coin, which is a fork of Litecoin, and Litecoin is a fork of Bitcoin. In 2015, Dogecoin was, in, was number nine. 2016, it was six. 2017, it was 14. 2018, it was 29th. 2019, not a good year for Doge. Got down 24. 2020, 31. 2021, back up to 26. 2022, number 12. 2023, it's now number eight. 2024 in February, it was 10th. And just today, it is ninth place with a market cap of $16 billion. Why does it happen like that? Well, meme coins are going to be memes, and people want to gamble, and that's really what it comes down to. So the other ones that I talked about, the Pepe, the Bonks, the Doge, or the Dog, <laughs> I can't stop laughing, and Dogecoin could do very well. Could this all go to zero? Sure, absolutely. And then that would suck. But guess what? In my portfolio, I still have these silver, gold, ton, soul, Ethereum, Bitcoin. So it's not going to crush me. And if they two X. Well, that's pretty good, and I'll take that. So that would be Doge. So the question then is, well, why Solana and why TonCoin? TonCoin, I don't know why, like, I don't know. So when Facebook came out, now called Meta, and they had their, their crypto called Libra, and just so you know, uh, Facebook or Meta has 3 billion customers, 3 billion users. If they would have came out with a token, it would have been in the top five easily. Uh, because you have so many people, you have so many eyeballs, and they're going to use it, and they want to transfer funds all the way around the world. Uh, YouTube, 2.5 billion. WhatsApp, 2 billion. Snapchat, so on and so forth. But if you notice with Telegram and TonCoin, this is 900 million. Actually, it's even more so. It's 950 million. You have 950 million people, and you have a native token for that, and you have wallets, native wallets, custodial and self-custodial wallets that you can use and transfer funds all the way around. And also it's backed up by Tether where you can zip around value. I just don't see TonCoin doing bad. And then with Solana, it seems like that's kind of like, like the narrative right now. So we'll see if it, if it works out with Solana. We talked a lot about it. I think one of the big reasons why Solana did so well and people will dispute me, but there's a reason is because they had a boatload of meme coins and they made a bunch of money off that. And that brought people in the space, like it or not, that's the truth. And people like to gamble. So far be it for me to get out of the way of that. So with TonCoin and Top, excuse me, and uh, Telegram, I see this as a big push. But Telegram isn't, it is not a messaging app solely. And we talked about this two months ago. Did you know that Telegram right now, you can use that for apps? What's the big deal, Rob? I have Apple and Android, I'll just do that. Well, first of all, if you use Telegram, like a lot of people do, you can do everything within it, right? You can order uh, a ride, ride share. You can meet people on a social app. You can play games. You can mine things. You can have AI, AI-generated uh, images, AI-generated answers, and everything else in between. And I talk about this in the video itself. And also what I'd like to note is this. Let me get out of here for a second. If you, oh, look at that. If you go into Telegram, this is not the mobile version, this is the desktop version. And you click on the search right here and go to apps, here's all the apps. And there's a ton of them, you can search for them by everything. And what's great about this is that on your phone, you have to, individually update each app. On this, you just update Telegram once and all the apps get updated. So if we take a look here, there's one I wanted to show you. And a lot of these, these apps are all mining apps where you can try to mine for free tokens. One of those being uh, Dog. Another one being uh, Notcoin, which I think is still ranked in the top 100. So like this game right here, Haunted Minigame, I tweeted about this. It had roughly 58,000 users two weeks ago. I don't know if you can see this, but right now it has 1.2 million users per month. 
And why is that? It's because that's where everybody's at. So again, this is one of the other reasons why I'm actually uh, uh, big on time. I don't know if you can see this. Let me see. Oh, no. Watch this. Watch this. Hold on. Uh, I can't show you the game itself. But anyhow, let me get out of here. So to finish this all up, da, 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 here, that was all about the why. And of course, precious metals, I don't think they're going to go right away anymore. Or <laughs> anymore. I don't, I don't think they're, they're going to go away anytime soon. Ask Peter Schiff. Ask them. Ask the people that have been hoarding it for the last, I don't know, 3,000 years or so. So precious metals are still on there. So that would take care of the why. Let's talk about the how. So for this one, like what I like about iTrust is I can schedule a recurring buy. Just click here. And what have been smart, I should have done, but I did not do, is just I could have put in Bitcoin and bought it every month, you know, for, I don't know, $300 or something like that. And that would have for $400. No, actually 300 that way I could have had $3,600 uh, worth of Bitcoin because I can only put in 7,000 just at that below 50. So I can do that. I can place conditional transactions. Let's say for instance, that I don't wanna keep checking this. What if I went to ba, 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 Pepe? And the price today is 0. 0.00001. Let's just knock, let's just say like this, 0 0.001. Oh, let's do this. No, I don't know. If I wanted to say this is 10X, whoops. I could just put it in right here, 0, 0. Let's just knock one of those zeros off. and I can submit the conditional sell. That way I don't have to deal with it. Or I do a 5X or a 3X or whatever else it is. Then I can just set it and forget it, like the Bronco food dehydrator. So that would be something to do. And again, this is just um, an option for you for retirements. And then um, see where it goes. Now, just lastly, before we, we go into the, into the Q&A, just so everybody knows, uh, I trust they moved away from Fortress, which was, I think, quite honestly, a good move. And there was, there was a little discrepancy where Fortress wanted to charge everybody a $125 service fee. Just so you know, if you were in that predicament, uh, iTrust will actually pay the service fee for you to transfer over to Forti Bank, which is FDIC insured and regulated bank. And they also have treasury management, which is, uh, you have to be a certified custodian under the IRS laws to be a certified custodian, and Forti is one of those. And then there's also an announcement coming out, I believe, next week for another custodian service, which I wish I could tell you who that is, but I can't, but I can just tell you this. It's essentially the biggest custodial service you can think of uh, is going to be custodian your crypto. And that's it for today. So look, that was a little bit longer. I just want to kind of go over what the strategy is right now. And I'll be honest with you. I'm uh, thinking about putting that into my other portfolio. I probably will do that and just see how things go. I know people will say, why get into altcoins? Because, you know, like we talk about this on NFA Live all the time. And Ben is there and he's very staunch and saying, you know what? This, you know, you have to hit these points for the 60%. And then, of course, for the uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum pairs, and it'll crash one more time. That's true. It may be that way. Uh but what if it doesn't? Is 10% of my portfolio and my Roth IRA going to kill me? And do I believe that 2025 will be the major bull run that we're expecting? Yes, I do. And I said before, and I'll say this, I think I said this like a thousand times already. There is nothing's going to happen until after this, this presidential election. And then usually after the presidential election, we see a little bit of a dip. And then we start to rally into the next year. I don't see anything happen until middle of 2025 to the end of 2025. So I don't want to miss anything. 
I feel like it's a, it's a calculated risk. And I'm not here to, you know, put everything into one meme coin. It's just to kind of disperse things and for risk allocation, but then to move those into Bitcoin and some other higher caps. That's it for today. So look, like today's video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. I'm going to talk about is uh, time sensitive, as you can definitely tell. 